With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is the angle between the asymptotes of the hyperbola x square by a square minus y square by b square is equals to 1 is. So for this, let's see the solution here. So simply in this question, we have given an equation of hyperbola that is x square divided by a square minus of y square divided by b square is equals to 1 and we have to find the angle between the asymptotes of hyperbola okay so first of all the asymptotes of hyperbola is given by y is equals to plus minus b divided by a times of x okay so let's suppose this is as equation number 1. Now from this equation what we can write that is the slope of first asymptote will be equals to plus b upon a. Let's suppose this as m1 and similarly the slope of second asymptote that is m2 will be equals to minus b divided by a. Okay so from here we can say that the angle between these two asymptote can be given by the formula tan of theta is equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 okay now I substitute the values here so this implies m1 is b divided by a m2 is minus b by a so minus minus get plus b by a divided by 1 plus minus will become minus m1 is b by a and m2 is minus b by a that's why I have taken here as plus minus will become minus into b divided by a so it will be equals to 2b divided by a this is divided by 1 minus of b square by a square so it would be equals to 2b by a divided by a square minus of b square divided by a square so 1a will be get cancelled out we simply get tan of theta it is equals to 2 times of b into this a will go in numerator. So, we come to b a divided by a square minus of b square. Now, if you see, so this is nothing but indicating the formula here. Now, according to formula here, the value of theta will become equals to 2 common and it will simply become tan inverse of b upon a. Okay. Now, if you see the terms that is tan inverse of b upon a. So, this tan inverse of b upon a is nothing but equals to sec inverse of e where e represent the eccentricity. So, here the theta will become equals to 2 into sec inverse of e and this is what our final answer. Let us check option here. So, option d will become correct. So, this is the required solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download doubt and app today.